good evening. I'm going to be recording healing prayers for every day for Monday the 6th of the 6th 2022. We're in June and whether you're a Christian or not you can accept these prayers for yourself and you can just say Amen in your heart if the words touch your heart or your spirit they're for you. And the first I'll say one or two little prayers as I usually do before I begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, Defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray. And do thy prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell, Satan, and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. O oh my God, I am sorry. For all my sins because they offend you who are so good and with your help I will not sin again Lord Jesus Christ Son of God have mercy on me a sinner come Holy Spirit fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. I'm going to share now the reading for the 6th of the 6th, 2022. It's taken from Acts 10, verses 34 to 35. I now understand how true it is that God has no favourites but that in every nation all those who fear God and do what is right are acceptable to him. The Reflection One may cry out in confusion, Why me, Lord? Mary, the mother of Jesus, could have responded, Why not someone else? instead let it be was her way of life peace is granted if we offer ourselves to him the prayer Jesus take hold of me and fill me with your presence I am yours heal my confusion and let your light direct me. Yes, if you've grown up with siblings and your mother prefers one of the others, the whole family know, don't they? Everyone, not just your siblings, but cousins and near relatives. and It affects the whole family. My older brother, Alan, rest in peace, he died of prostrate when I lived in Jamaica, it was about 2004, about this time he died, he was only about 59, around the same time age my dad died of leukemia in 1973, it's so strange, and uh, he was definitely mum's favourite, she didn't hide it, she couldn't. And then my next brother under me was not a favourite. He was born in 1949, I was born in 46. And whenever we did anything, he'd go, and me, and me. And even in mum's later years, although she'd moved back to England, to Cumbria, where my brother was, from the other brother in Italy, the baby, the youngest one, born in 1960, he was not a favourite either. He was my favourite. 
because I used to take him out in his pram and bathe him and dress him and change his nappies. He wouldn't like to, he doesn't listen to this. He doesn't want anything to do with my faith. Although he had faith as a youngster, he lost it when he was older. <laughs> so he won't hear this. But I used to change his nappies, the old fashioned ones, take him out in his pram. I've got loads of pictures with him on my knee and looking after him. He was so cute, he was lovely. I haven't seen him since 2016 at my uncle's funeral here in Norfolk. And then my mother had a favourite again. Not my firstborn, not my first daughter, but my second daughter. And she never changed. That was her favourite out of everybody. Favourite. Right until the moment, in fact, that daughter got so angry when my mother died because I was there. Thanks to the Holy Spirit, she doesn't have any faith either. And my brother had phoned me on the Friday evening and he said, I'm just letting you know Mum's in Carlisle Infirmary. I said, what? He said, oh, she's fine, she's all right. I said, well, what's the matter with her? He said, um, oh, she's got pneumonia. I'll ring you tomorrow and put the phone down. So I said, Lord God, what must I do? And into my mind immediately the words, go now. I did. I was on the first train first thing in the morning. I was at Carlisle Infirmary at 8pm. He wasn't even visiting then and his wife wasn't there. And she looked fine. Nobody could have, even the medical people didn't know she'd be dead on Monday the 11th of the 11th, 2019. So, favourites is something God doesn't have. Getting back to the point of this, he does not have favourites. He loves us all equally. What we do is a different thing. He doesn't like some of our behaviour, of course. And we have to pray and ask God to help us change from our bad habits and um, invite him in, invite the Holy Spirit in. And I don't advise you to have favourites with your children or grandchildren. It's not really fair. It isn't fair. It hurts them. It affects their whole lives. Because even my brother, the one that you say, and me, said, I'm still the and me. <laughs> and that was when mum was on her way out, you know. So he said, I'm still the and me. So, you know, it, try not to have favourites, even though one might have such appeal for you it's is not good for the children to feel that one is more favorite than the other it's difficult it does go well i caused problems in my parents marriage without trying to because i was my father's favorite he had three sons and just me the one daughter and that that brings a spirit of jealousy and it, it, it affected my whole life. I didn't like being the favorite. I didn't ask to be the favorite, but I was. And it caused serious problems. So, yes, I've ch chatted more than I usually do. I usually pray. So um, I might just actually look for some scripture so I don't like ending on gossip and chatter. So I've opened it at Psalm 22. I will read that. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me? From the words of my groaning, O oh my God, I cry by day, but thou dost not answer and by night, but find no rest. Yet thou art holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In thee our fathers trusted, they trusted, and thou didst deliver them. To thee they cried and were saved, in thee they trusted, and were not disappointed. But I'm a worm, 
and no man scorned by men and despised by the people. All who see me mock at me. They make mouths at me, they wag their heads. He committed his cause to the Lord. Let him deliver him, let him rescue him, for he delights in him. Yet thou art he who took me from the womb. Thou didst keep me safe upon my mother's breasts. Upon thee was I cast from my birth. And since my mother bore me, thou hast been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many bulls encompass me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me like a ravening and roaring lion. I'm poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it is melted within my breast. In my strength is dried up like a pot's herd, and my tongue cleaves to my jaws. Thou dost lay me in the dust of death. Yea, dogs are round about me. Company, a company of evil doers encircle me. They have pierced my hands and feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them, and for my raiment they cast lots. But thou, O Lord, be not far off. O thou, my help, hasten to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion my afflicted soul from the horns of the wild oxen. I will tell of thy name to my brethren. In the midst of the congregation I will praise thee. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you sons of Jacob, glorify him and stand in awe of him. All you sons of Israel, for he has not despised or abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, and he has not hid his face from him, but has heard when he cried to him, From thee comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will pay before those who fear him. The afflicted shall eat and be satisfied, those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall worship before him. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. Yea, to him shall all the proud of the earth bow down. Before him shall bow all who go down to the dust. And he who cannot keep himself alive, posterity shall serve him. Men shall tell of the Lord to the coming generation and proclaim his deliverance to a people yet unborn that he has wrought it. The word of the Lord. Some of the prophecy of Jesus Christ was in that. And I didn't choose it. I just picked that up and read it. That's what happens sometimes. You never know what you're going to read. God bless you. Thank you for listening. I'm sending you his peace and abundance and healing prayers. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. God bless your lives and thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.